the Hammond organ was actually invented and they started manufacturing them back in the 30s, I think 1935. It was originally invented by two guys. One's name was Lawrence Hammond, and the other guy, I don't, I don't remember his name exactly, but um, they originally started marketing and selling these organs to churches. And there have been many different um, versions of a Hammond organ, and they've, they had two or three different um, mechanisms that created sound in the organ itself. However, the one that's the most popular, and I believe started in the late 50s, was the, the tone wheel, jet, the tone generator. And uh, that became kind of the standard sound or the sound everybody wanted in. Um, the particular tone generator um, that, that's in this organ, which is a, a B3, a Hammond B3, um, came in three models, a Hammond B, a B3, a C3, the C standard for church cabinet, which is it's a more ornate cabinet, it's the same guts, same tone generator um, in there, um, and an A100, which was a spinet model that went in someone's home and it had some internal speakers and what have you. Um, but that became kind of the sound that people wanted and that's what you most recognize in the Hammond organ. It became very popular in, in, in gospel churches along with the Leslie speaker. Uh, which is a rotating speaker. So that tone and that's generated from that tone generator through a rotating speaker is really where you get that classic Hammond B3 or C3 sound. When I started first carrying a B3 around and playing one in regular clubs, early on I thought I cleared the room one night. I really did. We got into the first song and I was playing, my head was down, I was really into it. And I looked up and there was nobody there. It looked like this right now, there was nobody. I said, oh my God, I just cleared the room on the first song. And I turned around and everybody had moved behind me to this little spot so they could see what was going on. So ever since then, I always try to turn the organ a little bit like Al does here so people can get a look at it. But there's a lot going on here. Basically, the way that I like to look at it is, um, Organs have drawbars, and the drawbars correspond to the sizes of pipes that would be there on a pipe organ. So using these drawbars, you can build your sounds. There's a couple of suggested ones out there that Hammond started with and that a lot of players use. But really, like he was saying about Billy Preston, who's definitely one of my big influences, and um, something that I picked up on from players like that is I'm constantly moving and adjusting. And I feel like you can really make the song lift, you can make the song settle, you can make a guitar player get stressed out while he's soloing. You can do all these magical things that most people don't even know that's going on, they just know it sounds great. But by manipulating the sounds of that, you can do that. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I'll play a little blues here and I'm going to go through a couple different changes so you can hear the different sounds. <laughs>
I started with like the percussive tone like you were talking about, which is a real popular one in the blues. Turn all the draw bars off, you can still work that percussion. You get the attack almost like it was a vibraphone or a mallet instrument that was going with you. So a lot of guys will just add a real dark tone to that. Of the chorus or something, you can throw the Leslie on fast, you can brighten it up real quick. And then just as quickly, drop it down to just one little flute sound. And you can do all that in a matter of seconds. And on the fly, it sounds cool too. personality comes in, like I was saying, you can really tell players that are connected to the instrument because, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of different combinations that you can use there. So, you know, the best compliment I, I think you can get as an organ player is if people say, like, I heard that and I knew it was you. Because, you know, then you're really, like, you're really getting personal with the instrument and really dialing in what you sound like. 